you know? What's the matter? I said, I think you, you do. It's just amazing. Uh-huh. I didn't have to talk uh-huh. anymore, hardly. Uh-huh. Now, if you look, late summer bone set, right? Also called Queen of the Meadow, the Eupatorium. Late summer bone set. See how the leaves will turn red? The longer it goes, they start turning red, the same plant. If we're talking about Queen of the Meadow, this is Queen of the Meadow. Not always? No, you're See, that's really... Joe Pie Weed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's where you gotta be careful. Or if you yeah. go up to Maine, they're gonna be talking Spirea, mm. Queen of the Meadow. But indigenous to down where we are, it's Joe Pie Weed. Yeah. Which one's Meadow Sweet? Yeah, the, me- the Queen of the Meadow that typically is called Queen of the Meadow down here is Joe Pie Weed. Yeah, okay. And it gets called that up there too. That's from common names unless you are consistent. It's like why Tommy picked and called this Queen of the Meadow. But he knew that if he was picking Queen of the Meadow for gallstones, kidney stones, the flu, he picked Joe Pieweed. If he needed Queen of the Meadow, or Queen of the Meadow, for the roots for diabetes yeah. or backaches due to the kidneys, he picked this Queen of the Meadow. But he was consistent and picked yeah. these. And he, he knew which queen he of the differentiated in the book. It's just like this. How many Joes are there in the world? In Sally's and whatever, <laughs> and Jaquavia's, and you name it. But you know them as individuals. And that's what he taught me was learn them as individuals. I tell people they need to learn some botanical because otherwise you can get nah. confused easily. But as long as you have a system that's consistent, you're okay. It's like in, in Cherokee County, New Jersey tea got called Red Root Jersey tea. You went over, uh, well, in the black community in Pollard Bend, they'd call it Wild Snowball. You went over one county over into Georgia, the white people called it Wild Snowball. <laughs> then they called it Jersey Tea and this and that. And it just, because you had every two or three miles, you had a community. And an herb man. And an herb or doctor. Woman. An herb woman. Yeah. A, a midwife. And mm-hmm. they didn't travel very far in the horse and buggy days. And so. It didn't take much for common names to develop independently. It's just what they heard. Some overlap. But they knew if Tommy went and picked it for, he said, I'm going to get some Queen of the Meadow for diabetes, he would never pick Joe Pye Queen of the Meadow. He'd pick this and he'd call it, still call it Queen of the Meadow. <laughs> That's why people ask me, do you know Black Snake Root? And I say, yep, I know 15. Which one are you talking about? Probably, probably Black Cohosh. Whatever you want to call it, but, you know, it, it, you know, you get some of the it looks like um, Jethro Kloss and then back then they went through a phase and some of those plant medical books that they didn't even use botanical names. They just said you know, yeah. like buffalo herb. And I thought, what the heck's buffalo? I finally realized it was alfalfa. You know. Wow. And uh, so you have to learn to read the context of what's being talked yeah. about. To, uh, it's fine. It's fine. You're okay. Keep getting in your way. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of those are not toxic, so you're not going to have a problem with them. Right. But still, if you're not treating the right condition with the right branch, you're not, not going to see the benefits. You're not going to see the benefits. Sit. And that's where you have a lot of problems with herbal medicine, is people just read something in the book and just go with hodgepodge, you know, willy nilly out of it. Here, right. take this. And so I said, well, herbs is that don't what work. You, is that what you really need? Yeah. You know? Yep. That's where the art meets the science. To a great extent. Yeah, throw God in there and he'd figure it all out. But now you only have 2,900 more plants to go. <laughs> Alabama has over 3,000 species of flowering plants, plus trees, lichen, and fungi. So you're looking at the south. That's about 6,000 species. So you'll never run out of plants to learn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our place is in Rileyville. And um, it's three bedrooms. And so there's 